Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to another Luminar 4 video. Now today I'm going to be editing this photograph taken on Elgol on the Isle of Skye and I'm going to use the AI Enhance first to enhance the photo and then finish off editing it. Um, I don't know if you saw the last video I did about AI Enhance, if you haven't watched that then please go back and view that and that'll explain exactly what AI Enhance does and I'll show you a few examples of how that how AI Enhance works with different photos. So anyway, first of all, on this shot, I'm gonna go into the lens and geometry and click the lens distortions. Now I'm gonna go into the Essentials tab and go into AI Enhance. Now I'm just gonna slide the accent slider up and you'll see that it starts to change the picture already. Brings more light onto the rock down here. Brightens the photo. And I'm gonna start about there, it looks okay. And I'm gonna do the same with the sky enhancer. Now this, this pulls the sky in, it'll darken the sky a little bit and bring a little bit more of the red out and the, the, the purples in the sky. I mean, this was shot in the blue hour, so the sun had actually dropped behind the cooling. So there's lots of blues in the sky and blues all around and magentas and purples and reds. And it was it was just a stunning scene. So anyway, that, that's what the AI Enhancer's done there. I'll just click that on and off to show you the difference. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Detail Enhancer and I'm gonna zoom into something like that. These rocks and pebbles and all these I'm just going to use the small detail enhancer. I'm going to slide that up. And this should bring out all the, about 30. You can see all the, the little dimples in the rock and all the cracks and everything, they're all more defined and more detail. If you look around the, the pebbles there, yeah, that's enough of that, that's, that's lovely. So now we've brought a bit of detail out. Now what I'm gonna do here is, for this shot, I'm gonna, I want this, the foreground here to be a little bit darker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna try adding a vignette first to see what kind of result we get with that. Now I think you've seen us add vignettes to things before, so I'm gonna really explain what I'm doing. I'm just gonna quickly do it. So that you can see what kind of result I get. Yeah, I think that's, that looks nice. So I see I've added a vignette on there so you can see difference that makes it just I think it just adds a, a hell of a lot more drama to the shot a lot more atmosphere and it obviously pulls your eye into the center of the screen and to this light bit here in fact what I'm going to do I'm, I'll try a little bit of inner light in the center there as well so that brightens the, the middle up a little bit and makes it even brighter yeah like that. that's about right there that looks good. Now, honeycomb rock's a bit dark here. Um, it doesn't look too bad actually, but I think I might just try to bring that out a little touch. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the mask. So this is editing the vignette that I've put on. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase the vignette that's touched honeycomb rock around here. And as you can see, bring out a touch of detail you can see in that rock there now yeah that's fine so you can see when I click it on and off you can see exactly where the vignette has been added there you go now, 
what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to try, I'm just going to go into the Pro tab and I'm going to click on the adjustable gradient and set the orientation at the top. But I'm going to bring this over to Honeycomb Rock like this. And just have it, just put the gradient on like that. And then I'm just going to lift the shadows. about 50. Now it doesn't look to have altered up that much but I'm just going to slide the, the gradient in and then this is just a matter of playing around with the gradient to get this, the right angle and to get the right amount of shadow lift on the on honeycomb rock here. That's, that looks that looks fairly decent. So if I turn that on and off, you can see it has affected the sky a little bit, but all you do there is just go into the, the mask of the gradient and then the bits that are in the sky, just erase them like that. And that'll darken the sky back down. Like that, so that when we click the on off of the gradient, you can see that it's just lifted the shads enough to see a little bit detail in here, which I'm more than happy with. That looks fine. And that there is the finished photo. Um, I would save that off now. And I'm more than happy with that. So, if you have enjoyed this video and feel like you've gotten something out of it, please consider giving it a like, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell. And uh, you'll keep up to date with any future videos that I do. So thank you for watching.